Okay. Um, I gotta go around. I work for the reports. Did you hit it, David? David, you have one job to do. Did you do it? That's my one job. You got the recorder started. I have now. Yay! Right. I hit the so, robot. We're going. Today is November 3rd. The time is 7.02 p.m. And this is a council work session. In attendance, we have myself, Council President World Wolf, Council Person Camera, Council Person McNamara, Council Person Koss, Council Person Brueger, Village Council Jesse, uh, Fiscal Officer Mr. Wilczek, and Mayor Sutter. Uh, yeah, uh, we will start out with uh, officials' reports. We're just looking for, for highlights. Uh, Mr. Wilczek, we'll okay. Um, would you pass those down? Do you want to do this now or do this under legislation? No. Okay. So, I uh, updated the detailed expenditure report for general fund. I've added uh, explanation notes on some of the things that help us remember what we, what we budgeted where. Um, the one thing I would like to bring up is... That's not your seat. When you're late, you don't get the pick. <laughs> she wanted to know where your pass is. Um, <laughs> only because there seemed to have been a handful of things requested. If we can turn to page nine, um, for console and under contractual services, We've got the village mailer up there. It was buried down below in general fund late before, so we're putting it up there. Uh, Legal Publishing Corporation is also included in there, and there's uh, a few thousand dollars in there for a monkey survey. Survey. I don't recall if there was anything else that council was asking for. I want to make sure I kind of got everything in there. By village mail, you mean the, news, the monthly newsletter? Yes, or, or the quarterly. Quarterly newsletter. Yes. However often we are publishing such a thing. Was, did anybody else have any other council budgetary items that would fall under uh, the council, uh, I guess that's under contractual services, right? Yes. Not contractual, but I would like some money for road signs, maybe posted at every bus stop for children playing. And what's that discussion at a safety meeting a while so, that sign is showing up? What kind of signs are we talking about there? That would just be in the street. I would assume yeah. street fund. Do we have enough? What is our typical allotment for signage? There's nothing specific okay. there. Uh, street fund's coming down that direction in a moment. So mm -hmm. we'll so my, look at my, that, okay? My questions are, do we even know where all the bus stops are? And do we know how many bus stops? And they stops? do change each year. And they yeah. change each year. So... I, I would think that it might be, like if you're talking about just children at play, yeah. you know, uh, and please not the slow children at play because <laughs> that's always seemed rude to me. But you know, <laughs> a strategy by which we can well pepper the village with such signs, mm -hmm. but targeting bus stops seems impractical because they do change every year. Mm -hmm. We have no control over that. We get no notice of it. We certainly don't want to plant and unplant signs. That's not the point. The point is, I think, because whoever planned the bus stops peppered the village more or less strategically, we could just go off of somebody's already work done and assume this is a more common area for uh, gathering and therefore a better... I don't know that that's actually true. Well, I think most, that's a... Most municipalities, so when, when you don't have a... Like, code stop, it bear, they rarely change. As an example, they just close it down, but they move their sign to place. The school system does its pickups based on where the children are any given year, which changes, of course, in any given year. And so it could change from Molly's house down the street to five blocks away because we have got a density of children there. So what, what Brian's it's saying fine. is more practical from a municipal standpoint. We would simply place signs at the entrance points to the village, that you sort of sign, but that's you know, I in certain strategic manners so people see them. But putting them at a sign one, uh, a sign one year would mean the next I'm year, mean, maybe I'm not not this saying year, but we have move them. I'm saying, hey, so this is a pretty guts area of children, and this is where there's a bus stop. If 
safe to like put a sign here. There was some True, but the, what we're saying is that like, since the demographic mix changes year to year, it, it's impractical so to do that on any particular one spot. It's better to do it at entry points or other strategic locations. Which you replace so not that much. much. We can get yeah. it on yeah. the yeah. entrance. Yeah. 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 So, so, so my question is, do we know how many, off the top of our head, how many linear feet we have of road? Uh, no, I have to pull that. Or, or linear miles. I, I, I just a rough estimate. Probably one or half, one, one and a half, plus, so three. We probably have six, seven, eight, I'm going to guess, eight linear miles of road. It's just back of the envelope math. So if we did 16 signs and put them every half mile, I think that's perfectly reasonable. So we should just look up what... So, and just so you know, we replaced like all the street signs, yeah. like what, two years ago. We've done the basketball signs. We do have somewhere um, yeah. that we get signs from. Yeah. So what we did, the, so what we can do is find out approximately how much a sign is. Let's go with that, and then maybe double it because again, you're going to have other signs that, mm -hmm. if somebody hits one or something like that, that you have to replace them. There's there's a fund somewhere that already has something in it mm -hmm. um, because we've not had. I mean, we spent several thousand two years ago to replace all of the green ones throughout. Um, so I went through and I counted all of them. I'll come down that one. Yeah. I got so it we'll look. So. Um, the only other thing I want to point out, because I changed the dollar amount slightly, is on the very last page, uh, the amount being transferred out next year, three seventy-five for the Jordan Storm sewer project, and still one hundred fifty for pool improvements, which will also include that uh, uh, master plan. Okay, so if anybody's got any questions after flipping through this, by all means, shoot me an email. I'll see what I can do about getting the answers for you. Okay. Um, so we should, I, I don't know that everybody knows exactly what this is, but basically that 20, 23 budgeted column is at this point the proposed yes. general right. fund. Yes, thank you. Yes. Right. Um, so now is the time to look at it. It's annotated. Uh, and if you have questions between now and next Thursday when we have yes. time set aside to specifically start the reading of the corporations. Uh, that's. That's, so, that's what, what, what the ask is. Okay. And next uh, document coming around is the forecast for general fund, essentially, but it also includes the 23 budget. 22 is the budget, not actual to date, it's budgeted. Okay. So if we flip to the last page. So real quick, going back to that. So we're looking to be about $900,000 more. For our budget slot next year than this year? Yes. All right. And yes. some of that is, of course, the 525 for the Jordan and the pool yes. counts for five ninths of that. Yeah. I can do fractions easy. <laughs> so, okay. um, I want to just focus at the last or back page. Uh, general fund balance is hanging right in the $1 million range for all five years. Um, there's a couple of minor changes. I don't recall where I made them, but uh, it's right in the ballpark of where we want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, still looking at fund balance being something around the average of four to six month average expenditures. Just trying to retain it. Uh, I haven't had a chance to really write anything up as a formal policy for it, but I will get to it. So uh, with what we've proposed, with increasing the police wages significantly, we're holding good. So I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable there, but we'll revisit police wages again next year and, yep. and see how everything falls out and go from there. And okay? I could yes. Um, raising police wages is fantastic considering how we are historically with other municipalities. So our other Village employees, um, are their wages as far as We're coming to that. We'll get there. Because okay. <laughs> actually we're going to ask you guys what you want to do on something. Instead of it just being me. Um, at the last meeting I did not have some detailed worksheets and looking out five years for 
a few of our major operating funds. So I just want to touch base on, on these real quick. Okay. Wait for everybody to get it. Um, so the first one is the street maintenance fund. Uh, I'm going to add $2,000 in there for operating supplies to help cover signs. That's not here right now, so we'll, we'll pick that up, okay? A um, couple of major items in here. There's $15,000 for Blendon Township dealing with snow removal. Um, the other thing that we've been discussing is actually buying a half-ton pickup truck, and there is a poly... Uh, box that you can put in there for spreading salt and we can cover the smaller uh, areas where we have cul-de-sacs that are too tight for the big trucks to get in it'll also give us the ability to spread salt in some of the areas that seem to be a problem and one of them is Farview and Minerva yes. Lake Road we've had residents have to run okay. out there and do that where that hill is um, Blendon also doesn't really do our I mean we have the little plow but they don't do our um, building like as far as the you know brian goes out there and does the best that he can yeah. but a bigger truck would make it a little yeah. easier on those i'm confused at the two hundred sixty-five thousand. keep reading so maple wood it's also the maple wood project which is uh, a large the, lump sum of that it's okay. in the same so oh, that's the 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 bill the yeah. that that's, makes more sense um no no, no. the maple wood drive oh. project is specifically a street project that's, that's the maybe. project yeah, we've actually talked about that project. You may not remember or you may not. This is Maplewood and Cleveland Avenue where we would be closing that mm -hmm. area. We weren't able to do it before because we didn't have a way out. Once they opened the connector, we were supposed to do that two years ago. Um, then we got sidetracked with every other project. So that would be the, the – Mike Flickinger is asking to bring that back. I don't know that he's well, asking, but discussing yeah, to bring that back. It's also on the list of – Projects. The roads that were graded out, this one's very poor. Yes. Yeah. And it's so, the poor to the poor. And it's just gotten poor. Yes. Yeah. Since yeah. the new so, one. Okay, so that is, okay. Yeah, we're not buying a $265,000 truck. That, I, I mean, I knew there had to be a reason for it. I was, I was Actually. Happy to wait for the buy. I wasn't happy to the, wait for it. The truck and the. Tell me the reason now, now, now. The truck and the unit that goes in the back, we're looking at about upwards of $85,000. Mm -hmm. It's going to have a diesel engine. You need the power to push snow. Mm -hmm. um, it also diesel engines last significantly longer than gas engines, so uh, you know the unfortunate side is that's about an eighty thousand dollar truck alone with the oh, plow yeah. attachment and stuff. Yeah, yeah, trucks are ridiculous. And then there would be the discussion: Would we sell the old one? Would we keep the old one? Would we sell the old one and get something smaller? Um, we would again bring. I, I, I we're not buying it tomorrow. Yeah. It's just budget. I would say keep the old one, which is probably gas powered and cheaper to run. Well, and yes. that was. Regardless, we need something smaller to be able to run on a daily basis to Home Depot and to all of that. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But if we could make significant money on that one, we might get something that's not as, who knows? Yeah. I mean, we would look at all avenues and determine what yeah, would be the all best. All that's further. I was just, uh, um, my eyes bugged at the uh, giant number. So I want to point out, too, that uh, we have three more years left on the OPWC loans dealing with paving projects from 2006, 9, and 10. So now we're going to start all over again. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. So um, the next one on here is the storm sewer maintenance fund. I have not built in any revenue yet because we are still in the process of getting that finalized. Uh, there will be legislation forthcoming, and we'll tweak the water sewer surcharges, but... <clears throat> The storm sewer rate is going to be such that I can't reduce water sewer surcharges to offset equal because that would almost wipe out our revenue. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that conversation and, and approval of the legislation will be forthcoming. Uh, I wanted to point out the $68,000 encumbrance there is still flow line for cleaning and video storm, the video of the storm sewers. So that's still going to take place. Uh, there is $75,000 built in here for 5454 Cleveland Avenue project. That is a storm yes. sewer one. That's forthcoming, okay? That'll be done in this year. Do what? Can you look at it today? 
No. It's like getting dangerous. Like, they're, like, the pipe is like, that they're siphoning off is like making its way onto Cleveland. It's just... No, I have not seen it today. Okay, so Mike will be coming in next week. Um, next, yeah, Mike, Mike will be, and we followed up with Flowline. They're following up with Flowline to see when they are doing the CCTV, the one that we talked about yesterday. So, I don't know. So, uh, um, I imagine that that um, was the guy we met with a couple weeks ago. That, um, ben. Yes. Mm -hmm. I imagine he has a fee or something like that, and we have talked. To, yeah. We had a conversation about um, still using him because we have so many other projects right. for future. Is that budgeted in here? If we use range? him, I always come to you guys when we get ready to do it. Once we determine which one, because a lot of times the legislation is project specific okay. versus just a. $20,000 for a grant writer. I mean, I don't know that we would at that again. That's up to you guys um, He's in general we, fund and I don't recall where to be honest okay. we, so. so I always just bring it to you yeah. and then it does slow the project down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drastically depending on temperament we could add him to the list of approved vendors. approved vendors Okay, right and just that's a good throw idea. Yes. 20 grand into the budget. If okay. nobody here you want to write that? That's a terrible yep. idea. Then we don't need New legislation every time the mayor wants to go back out right. the bank. And, you know, at least for this year, you guys know I'm not just going to go do it without talking to you guys first anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. It's good to have yeah. Yeah. That's what I would That's what I would do. That that's what I do. So, um, it's been a M I C K. I know we haven't officially decided what the what projects the are going to be, but we don't know until what day just mentioned. Add it to the contract list. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Perfect yeah. sense. And I. Yes. If we can, if we can get it done in some other legislation. Okay. All so, of that. Cool. I was writing. I didn't catch what you said. Oh, we were Sorry. just saying it again, a little more. Yes, agreeing with ourselves. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, the next one that I want to point cover real reasonably quick is sewer maintenance fund. Uh, Revenue is low compared to prior, you know, looking back far prior years because there are two debt uh, loans with OPWC to pay off. And those dollars are allocated to the debt service fund first before it comes back here. So you, the, the storm or sewer maintenance fund revenue is going to be low for the next few years or several years actually. Um, again, we have a contract with Flowline that's the large encumbrance of 43000 and there's nothing specific in terms of projects related to sewer or sanitary sewer right now. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. maintenance and repairs mm -hmm. and, and any engineering work we need. Okay. We already did all the big ones. Uh, water so line. Uh, this year we paid off the loans with the uh, water line improvements that were done many years ago. So all of the revenue is coming back into this fund. Uh, we're looking at about $50,000 a year. And again, we have no specific projects, but we have some money in there to repair fire hydrants or any other water leaks that occur. So, and again, no specific projects on it. Um, last page is a list of the capital projects that we've talked about. Um, Maplewood Drive again for this year. Valley Road potentially for this year yet. That would come back into play. That's the, the pool. Pool. Oh, okay. That's why. Um, and yeah. Minerva Lake Road. Yeah. 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 Um, and yeah. Minerva Lake Road between. Yeah. I think well, that's why I didn't recognize it as like Valley Road. Yeah. Oh, the pool driveway. So, for twenty four, we're looking at Minerva Lake Road between. I believe that's Valley or the pool and Route Three. Yes. And. There's intersection improvements that Flickinger told us about starting in 24. So what we're going to try and do is talk to ODOT and see if we can't fix that section of the road with, under, with ODOT doing the work. And we're going to look at the intersection improvements too to see what, if anything, can take place there and maybe be able to use some of the state highway improvement money. Mm -hmm. To aid with that intersection. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't that the one place in the village? Well, that in the mm -hmm. whole section. You got 161. a little bit of uh, 161 too. Yeah. Yes. Along so. that, before I forget, Eric, can you 
find out for sure if that is in fact a, I'm not, a, for any reason other than the traffic. Um, are they putting apartments in right there where they're clearing, like right out Westerville Road? Is that why we're finally getting ODOT to do something, or do you know? No, I don't think that's the reason. I think they, they, from the emails and the discussion, I think it's because they've probably gotten around to it within their own budgetary cycle, okay. right? They, they had other delays. They had bids that were way high at the beginning. That's what, yeah. Those were related to the supply chain issues. Mm -hmm. They panicked a little bit, and then they, the they managed to get it back in on a larger okay. project. That's why it's happening. Do you know if that's what, or can you find out? I know you have more connections to finding out if that's what that is right there. Where they're leveling it. Apartments? I don't know if it's, a, somebody told me it was apartments going in right next, yeah, where they're right. clearing it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm just I'll curious. So It's like eight, I was told it was like 800 units going all the way back in there. That's what I said. There's no way that's going to sure fit. That's, that's, right. well, that's why I, I don't know, you would have to be six stories high. Yeah, it would be very big density for this area. Yeah. <laughs> and I was wondering, because would they go to Westerville schools? Which I think they would right there. Uh, they would. All, the other, all those other ones yep. do. So again, just curious, because so, somebody just told me the other, like, right. 24 hours ago. Next thing I want to point out here is the TIF projects, which is the municipal building, uh, dredging the lakes, etc. I need to stress that we've got 36 months to spend this money. We're already almost seven months past. The 36-month time frame ends May of 25, so we have to have things done by May of 25. Done or started? Done. Okay. I have to have the debt proceeds spent. Jesse, is it, is it done, done? I remember there was some wishy-washy or something. Not that we won't spend the money, I'm just asking for clarification purposes. He doesn't want to deal with we'd the wishy-washy. We'd want it to be, we'd want it to be done. Done. Yes. Okay. If we come to a crisis point where it isn't, we can... Work with. If we've already started the project, I think that's what I'm thinking. Not that we haven't. I would imagine it's already in process. Some accounting yeah. magic that can happen yes. too. If the project's already going, we yes. can probably spend it and then expect reimbursement <laughs> if they didn't use it all. And then we'd have to deal with it then. Right. But, you know. So let's plan to have it done. Yes. It's a, that's not yeah. issue. That's it's a penalty. It's a penalty issue, right? It's not yeah. necessarily a. It is. I mean, yeah. Then they start siphoning off your Some proceeds. Some of it's already in progress too. Yeah. 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 Uh, yep. Flickinger is aware of the deadline with dredging the lakes, mm -hmm. so that's taken care of. Uh, we've got to address the maintenance building. Uh, and then there's a, well, again, there's a lot going on over the next 30 months. Yeah. So, but again, I need to stress that point so we stay on target with May 20 of 25. Yep. Okay. Um, the only other thing I want to point out: uh, the shelter at Alta Vista and Maplewood. Mm -hmm. That was the, uh, I'm not, I'm not familiar with the project itself, okay, and there's uh, some money in here coming out of parkland improvement for fountains. Yeah. Okay. Fountains or aerators, whichever we can, yeah. And I assume that's appropriate use of parkland funds. Eric, fountains for, fountains or aerators for the parkland fund in the MI section. They would not be for the North South Lake. Would that be an appropriate use of parkland fund? Yes, you can use it for anything you want within the, within the reserve, including yes. the main lake. Perfect. So. Okay. So, anyways, that's so our list of projects. Um, yeah. We will try to revisit this periodically because we've got five years we want to keep getting filled in. We only have... What's missing? Really, two years. No, not missing. I just want to make sure I understand what the bit by. You had mentioned, uh, let me figure out which one it was. One of them, you said, oh, there's 150000 put aside for the General pool. Fund is transferring 150000 yeah. out oh. for the master plan and future construction or improvements. The 5000 for your slide is actually in General Fund under the pool. It's in right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I see it. It's listed here. as a project. I just wanted, I'm just trying to figure out why there's different amounts here compared to what you said, 150 versus the 85. I'm sorry. I'm transferring 108, 150 to get started on pools improvements. Okay. Of which the first 80 roughly is an estimate from the master plan. Uh -huh. We got that. And we'll see how we can fund some things going forward besides with grants. Okay. So That's it's it. seed money. The transfer of seat money to did get that, going. Did that include what we were talking about for chairs? And that's already. That's already budgeted in general fund under the pool. Yes. And you, that's in. Ten for. I just want to make sure I understand. There's yes. ten for loungers, five for chairs, and five for the slide. Yes. Okay. Ten, five, and five. Yep. Okay. Got it. Yeah. He's going home to spend it. 
January 1st. I, and I, I think that everything that was asked for. Yeah. Um, actually, okay. the, no, the, um, no, it was little. The square machine, I think we've That's made sure that that was in there. Money's all in the in budget for that. For the other one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're good. Okay. Takes care of that. All right. That's well done. Well, until you bring until we get to legislation. I'll keep it tight. Uh, working on a stormwater utility ordinance with Jeff and Mike, trying to figure out funding and, and how each property pays its fair share. Uh, I'm working on a CIC explanatory memo that I promised Nikki. Um, and that is it at the moment. All right. Love it. Uh, Mr. Fisher, any, any headlines from planning? Um, we will have our meeting in planning zone on the 14th. We're going to have... December. December. December, oh, December. December sorry, the ministerial. No. December 14th. Uh, that, the headliner at that meeting, besides the zoning code, which is super exciting, mm -hmm. we won't finalize it, but it'll be closed. Um, the school district is going to submit before the end of November the Hawthorne School Career Improvements for the football field and everything wants to pull. We'll get a chance to look at that. So that's my highlight. And then I got my first construction meeting tomorrow at 9 a.m. And they'll, they'll start regularly updating me. I'll take part in this meeting for John. We'll update all of you for any nice. major items. So moving along. Nice, nice. So, anybody have a committee report that they are dying to give us a preview of? <laughs> all right. I've got nothing. Hmm? All right, then let's move on to legislation. All right, and it is a giant list. Sorry. Do we actually have any printouts of this, or am I just doing this off my phone? Um, we. You can do it off my laptop. Yeah. yeah. Either way. This is a little bit bigger. Do you want to see? We only have one copy, but do you want to okay. see a print? Uh, I know he had one. I was just curious. Okay, we have a whole bunch of stuff. Let's get rid of the. Uh, I don't know, the stuff that doesn't matter so much, so much. First, uh, 30 2022 is just the leash law, first reading, moving on. Um, 32 2022 is appropriations, first reading. Let me scooch down the actual thing so I can see what these are appropriating. This is why I like card copies, because I'm having a little at the same yeah. time. Okay. Um, and there's a typo we'll get fixed in that one <laughs> on the agenda. That is the appropriation ordinance for 23, Mark. Oh, okay. This is just the first reading for the whole year. Yes. Oh, wait. Yeah. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, just the, the first reading for the whole year. Yes. Okay. So we can have it on and the schedule. And the Exhibit A is attached to it. Yep. yep. And there's lots to scroll, scroll, scroll through. Do you just have the one copy of this? Yeah. Okay. No. Well, I have multiple copies. No, this one. So, All okay. right. The wage, the 3322 wage and salary, the number of employees and positions for the village of Minerva Park. We got changes in police salary. What's or this is? What are the changes? <laughs> Everything. That, is. that, that, that I guess is the question because there's. This is just the list of what everyone. Everything made. with the mayor and you guys. <clears throat> Do you, are these changes already reflected in the budget that was handed? Yes. Alright. You know what? You need to add. Okay, don't let us forget that. Yeah. Mark. I know. I'm going to talk to them. Yes. I have one copy of the old one if he wants to okay. see it to work from. Just, do you want to see it? You have it. Hey, Andrew. You got plenty. Mark, do you have interest in just so yeah. Know. Actually, so one of the things that we did that was different this time, which I absolutely love, because I think it took me a year to finally find this, and whether or not you guys have any idea, but mm -hmm. actual police officers, when newer officers start at lower levels, longer they're here, they start at different steps. Most officers don't come in here with a step one if they have experience. So, but if they're a brand new officer out of the academy, something like that, they would start typically at a step one. So you're not going to find this on the old ordinance. This is just something he decided to put on here because this is great information. This is where our officers top out. We have one officer that is here um, that's been with the village for a long time, but he's also been a chief. He's been he's been around for a very long time. So all of the officers will follow fall somewhere in there. And then this is going to be a new position. And Jeff, you can yes. chime in anywhere. 
So but the school yeah, resource right. officer is a new position that is going to be for um, the middle school. They are in the process of hiring right now for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. There will be training that will have to be done before that starts. He is also has different qualifications right. beyond a patrol officer, so that's why the separate <coughs> classification. We set his compensation at 3% above ranges 4 and 6 mm -hmm. for a patrol officer. Okay. Um, the other thing that, that changes with the police department, what we did in here is, again, we were trying to bring the wages up so that we're not at the very bottom and, and losing people. So next year, start of the year, all the police officers are getting a 15% jump on their compensation. Okay, That's reflected in the ranges, and it's reflected in the annual, uh, the, the, I'm sorry, it's the step increases for patrol officers. It's reflected in the ranges for the school resource officer, sergeant, lieutenant, and chief. And I want to point out that the school resource officers, 3% above. Sergeant and lieutenant are 6% above the Sorry. steps, and the lieutenant is 6% above the sergeant. Mm -hmm. The police chief is set at 10% above the lieutenant. Okay? And then if you notice a little bit different from the old versus the new, um, he actually has it listed out here. Ten full-time officers, two part-time positions, um, and then it, it breaks it apart through there as well. Um, we currently do only have, do we have two part-time? We have one right now. We have one auxiliary or something. We have one part-timer, but he works really, really few hours. Right. Um, and the intent here is instead of the $17 hour, dollars an hour he was getting, a part-timer is no different than anybody else, so they're going to fall in the ranges. Beautiful. Okay. So you had asked, go ahead, you have a question no, no. before we go further. I'm wondering if we can make maybe a clerical change on here. Rather than saying yes, please, rum if you see and something. two on things, can maybe we say low and high for the range? Because I think it's, to me, I'm thinking we're going from this as the starting point to this as the starting point, and not that this is the low end to the high end. Right. No, so, I'm the shoe. It's because always, I just it's think, always been that way. Yeah, I just, but yeah, no, you're right. That's I'm a wondering great suggestion. If, you know, well, without, well, if I were just to open up the minutes for the meeting and look right. at this, that's what I would think as a residence, that that's right. what that means. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So, okay. I just think Delta. that, yeah. Um, yeah. There's a couple things that are spelled out in here, um, which we did fix actually quite a while ago that you guys changed, I believe. I don't know if it was in the handbook or if we actually changed it in this ordinance. It must have been this. Um, but when the chief is out, the lieutenant actually gets the chief salary by, you know, all of the above, the sergeant. So they are, when they're acting chief. So that's spelled out in there now. Um, it was in the ordinance. It was in the ordinance yes. last time. Okay. Yeah. So um, we did do that. We fixed it last time, but it's actually, so we really did fix it all. I do want to point out, the other ranges for the other positions throughout the village have been bumped by 5%. Which is what on, David uh, was asking the, about. The low and high ranges. Although I may have to tweak one of them, I'll know more when I get a chance to go back to the office and look at a few things, okay? So, and that's the salary position. The other change that we're looking at is taking the village planner from an hourly rate to salary, okay? And the, the way that we did compensation there is we just went over the average of the last two years it's of all of that two, as well. Two, um, it just makes things a lot easier and um, we can take advantage of them a little bit more. Two, three, He's here so I can say that. Three, section three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes, gotcha. um, the, now the, did you have a question first? Because I was going to say something about, but it's going to probably be, have right, to do okay. with what you're going to say. So one of the questions that um, we were just talking about is you heard 5% increases is, is where we're at. Um, there's a couple reasons that we did do that. We did do some adjustments last year as well. So keep that in mind. But now here's the second part to this. Um, one thing that we hadn't really talked about and we didn't clarify is will they get their 5% increase at their, at the start of the year and then still get their roughly 3% increase at their anniversary. Is that, is, that's how you're asking me that, correct? Yes. So the question is, is do we want to do just the 5% at the beginning of the year as a cost of living and continue to do the 3% when they hit that? Do you want to do a 5% on their anniversary or do you guys want to do both? 
Is that what you're at? Is that the merit increase has no percentage? No, right. Within it's the within the range, so it might not be three percent yeah. as long as I stay in the range. I mean, the cumulative inflation rate in the United States for this year is something like eight eight point nine. So huh, told you we would. I mean, yes, five percent is an improvement, but if the five and the three adds up, I mean, it's. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be three. Like he pointed out, that that was me. Miss, we we fixed that because it was listed. I think before yeah, it, as three. It was poorly worded with three percent. So we change that as long as it stays within the range, because I have authorization. If you don't know, to stay within the range. Um, but my question to you guys, and uh, you know, it's I'm trying to make sure you guys are part of the conversation because it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot on the budget. Give them, give them their five percent. Yes. Yes. The cost of living. One. Yes. And then on their anniversary, if it, Do it again. changes okay. their range, okay. then or, or whatever um, else. Well, we would fix it before we get to the first or second reading, if we needed to, to well, adjust it in there, because he'll before know. Before the first reading, I, I need to add an, the another wording. section to point out the effective date mm -hmm. of the increases. The first pay period is what it's going to be effective. Is January 1st is the start of it. If you pass this and go 30 days... The ordinance is effective, I think it's January 8th. Mm -hmm. So it's in the middle of the pay period. So we just want to point out that the increases will be effective January 1st, paid on the 20th, actually, which is after the effective date. So I'm going to fix the language in there for that, okay? Perfect. I guess the only thing I would say is that, you know, we should do what we can. It's, it's rough. People are struggling. And the ones that we have the possibility to help, we have the responsibility to help them. Okay. So. And it will also address the increase for everybody else being the 1st of January, okay? Because that's not really clear in here at all. No. Okay. So that was what we were talking about. That's why I said yeah, just... That sounds a lot more. That okay. A lot more. Um, the, there was something else I was going to say about that. The, 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 the. Um, we did do large increases, as you guys are aware. I mean, large for us. Um, lifeguards and all of that, I think... Are we leaving that alone from where we were last year? No, I changed year? them. Okay. I bumped them So those are all in there. They um, went up slightly. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, the resource officer, are we paying for all that? Or no, that, okay. that was, we were getting to that point. Gotcha. Um, Chief is still negotiating, to my knowledge, but it should be at least, I think it's fair to say at least 50%. Yes. He's trying for 75% at the start and then Each scale year. it down because we are truly less than other Police officers, so we'll see. We'll see if we can get it. If, right. if nothing else, we will get fifty percent of it reimbursed. Yes, and that's fifty percent of the wages and benefits. Yeah, yeah, of the yeah, possibly employee. Mm -hmm. So, um, do we need to um, the whatever the uh, PDRS? What, what which union are police in? Oper. Oh. Are they Oper? No, 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 no. no. They have the police, police and fire. fire. Yeah, police and fire. Police and fire have their own. Yeah. That's kind of that. You have a question. Put, um, uh, well, we because we put in ten full time officers to part time. Do we need to put that in with any other positions? Like, should we say how many? Life well, if you look at years? well, if you look at maintenance, maintenance workers and seasonal, that's listed. Lifeguards, we've never done it. We have the maintenance there, and I think it's just because some of them are seasonal, and sometimes he needs. He might need 10 because some of them only work three hours. Okay. So, yes, maybe, but no. And because we have so many different years, I don't know how he would determine yeah. how many in advance. So I think, honestly, he we've never had an issue. Um, but we do that with everything else, as you can see. Right. One fiscal officer, one pool manager. And at this time, you know, we have that with everybody else. Numbers are controlled by budget. Um, we, we only yes. see this much money to pay lifeguards. Yeah, and it's up to the manager to make it. Right. How, and make really, sure the pool is properly covered. I mean, do we really do that, though? Do we really do? do we go? Do we go back to John and be like, "Hey, you know, you're spending too much on." Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I just want to make sure. Oh yeah, he knows. Okay. Um, okay. Oh yeah. He I knows how much one, he's got to work with. And so, oh, and there's yes. two maintenance workers under the pool as well as the seasonal ones. Yeah, that, except we've never filled them because okay. we've just we haven't. Um, and we, and I shouldn't say that we, we have used some of them and I don't want to name names because of the recorders, but we did last year pull some lifeguards and pay them under the maintenance gotcha. hourly wage. Okay. Um, we've done it a couple times. We had to have them spread mulch. We basically go on a case by case scenario and say, Hey, we need some maintenance workers and that's how we justify it. Okay. 
up a little bit on that and just is do we need to hire like a full time like a, another person or a as soon as you find one, you let me know. <laughs> I mean, Where we I talking? understand that, but like... Maintenance, oh. I think. Yeah. I, um, I get that. Yeah. I would say yes. Yeah. That, that so discussion I mean, has been coming up, but we haven't right. quite figured out some things to go with it yet. The okay. issue that... The, the ongoing issue is right now he has, ab, uh, he has enough to keep himself busy. And even, uh, I'll just say it, Tanner is barely coming in and working because there's not really much to do. Mm -hmm. So in the winter time, there's not, and we don't have a building right now to continually maintain or do anything. So in the winter, we do find that our part-time maintenance person, could we find stuff for him to do possibly, but he might only work 10 or 15 hours. But in the summer, I mean, he could work 40 hours, no problem. Yeah. But it's a matter um, of, and if you have another, if you have him and a full-time, now we're trying to occupy 60 hours and he's barely pulling 10, 15 he will pick up a few hours once we probably snow season of 23, 24, right. when we pick up a little mm -hmm. bit of the work on the roads and the cul de sac. So we have the ability to do it. And it's not that we, it's not for lack of trying to get somebody in the summertime because he needs help in the summer. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's balancing between making sure that we're not wasting village money in the wintertime and do you know that's that's been the battle and i've been here now three years this will be my third winter and we do find that keeping him busy is difficult in the winter months i'd say we can we should put a pin in that and that can be a policy discussion yeah for yeah i mean totally open for discussions on it um because it's mm -hmm. again now if it if it's super busy one week i mean if it snows he might work 40 hours one week and he would love the help but how do you hire for that? Yeah. And that's been an on, it, it is, it's an ongoing, we're a small it village. And, and we're, we're just not quite there yet. Yeah. I mean, we're, we, we can definitely use a full-time person in the summer months, no doubt. That's what I'm saying is like, should we have a discussion like closer to winter so we're prepared for No, we should, I mean, I would say in the next so, meeting and one of the next yeah. early, like we do at the pool in January, we should be talking about it because spring yeah. hits in March. Yeah, for sure. Oh, again. Next budget time and mm -hmm. this budget time frame, we can start talking about it again. Yeah. But we'll certainly uh, mm -hmm. keep tabs on what's going on. And right. Maintenance building coming into existence, the truck, changing out the trucks will certainly mm -hmm. allow for more work to be done in the winter months. Right. And, and having some of the equipment okay. to being able to do some of this on our own. I mean, again, we would love to be able to do our own entrances and do all of that kind of stuff. But again, we go back to the we only have one or two, and hiring that other person, I mean, we, we hired other people and they did not work out. And not because we were difficult, but we had other issues. At one point, we did have two seasonal workers helping out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those ones were fine, but I'm not expecting them back next year because of college. Hard. Like, recruitment's hard, like, I get it. They're, I'll say it, most teenagers are lazy, they want to play video games in their basement, <laughs> aka my son. I mean, he wants to work when he wants to work. Mm -hmm. So, and that's, that's a lot of Teenagers and parents allow it. What's that? Community service. Community service. Yeah. Can we get some? Um, there's there's Zero risks associated with that. We'd have to explore. Yeah. Right. These start getting into again liability issues and concerns and problems with volunteers and community service and teenagers and you get what you pay for and. Yeah depending on how old they are. And yeah. they, uh, again, I won't even let, and I say this for the record, I won't even let Tanner just because of other reasons. I mean, I, I'm not putting a 16 year old on a $15,000 lawnmower. I'm just not gonna do it. Even though our insurance says we, as long as we're 17, uh-uh. Uh, exactly. Right. <laughs> And I didn't see CC. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. All kinds of things you can do. Maybe yes. Can and that's it. Leaf sucker and see that's oh, that would be. Um, uh, so, my only question is on the old police salary schedule, we had police officers and police. Oh, where was it? Um, Patrol officer versus police officer, and I now know. we just have patrol officers. I couldn't tell you what the difference is. This, I saw well, that. I'm asking because the difference was. A part -time. patrol officer made way more. Yeah, the police officer made 
two thirds. I believe of the, 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 the reference there rate. is part time, part time, maybe? full time. Yeah, but the hourly rate was also different. Yes. The hourly rate for the part time was sixteen to twenty two, and, and in conversations, in conversations with the chief, we could not justify paying a true police officer that's working part time yeah. something that less than. A regular police officer. Yeah. And I think the old, I mean, I think so that's if again. You put in, and if you're part time, it doesn't matter what the annual salary says anyway because you're an hourly employee. Correct. Mm -hmm. And if you only work 20 hours a week, you're not right. going to hit it. And so as of right I now, figured, I just wanted to make sure. Yes. And as of right now, I don't even know if our part time is working 20 hours a month or less than that, I think, in about 10. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. And do we have, do we have a full time and part time administrative assistant? No. We have the so ability. At this point, we are operating perfectly fine. Okay. Um, with, we're not having any issues right now. Right. But we have, we're only doing nine to three instead of nine to four. You know, there's certain things that we did to avoid that. Um, she eats at the office and does that through lunch. And you know, once we get into the new building, I think you may see some different things that we may need to do. Okay. Um, but at this point in time, she does all of our legislation and. She answers our phone and answers the door, but um, to replace her would be just about impossible because she is right. amazing. Okay. At one time, there was a full-time administrative assistant. Mm -hmm. That was back a few years, but it's okay. been part-time lately. Okay. So. And it's due to she. this particular person does not want full-time. Yeah. She's retired, and this is, and at this point, I'm, she's happy, we're happy, and uh, you couldn't do a better job than what she does. No, she's a barber. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You kept saying like, this. I'm like, I know. is there a reason we're keeping her name off? Of well, her? I mean, it's like, just she like, to it. like. <laughs> gotta know we're talking about her. I That's don't cool. want her to know. She does crochet. It's great. We just can't replace her. You yeah, know. she sits uh, at her so desk and <laughs> twiddles her thumbs all day. We know better. Oh, no, no, um, so no, yes, no. she she okay. does currently just, want okay. part time. No, no, I know. And that. it is. I just want to make sure there was not a missing person. <laughs> we the other things that we had done, you know, with getting Leah now able to do the things that she does, bringing him in, it uh -huh. has freed her. It it actually works pretty smooth. Yeah, okay. The way that it's okay. the way that everything is right now. Okay. 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 On to thirty-four twenty. And I have a corrected one for that one too. For okay. Thirty-four. You mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> health care benefits for employers. The mayor authorizing the purchase of health insurance and. Thank you. And declaring an emergency. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> The emergency, <laughs> Mark, the emergency doing? is because of it having to be effective January 1st. Yeah. yeah. You're going to see, and these are going to be some of the questions yeah, at the end. We still just have normal readings, but by the time we get yes. normal readings, we'll be in the middle of yeah. December, and if we want to take, we have to do it. Yeah. And there's going to be a couple that we'll ask you just for, like the so, contracts is going to be one of the other ones. Yeah. Um, I can go down through highlight some of the changes here, okay? Um, one of the first changes is Section 5. We've added uh, contribution to a part-timer single rate only. Mm -hmm. And IRS ha has raised the dollar amount that can be contributed to the HSAs. $450 went up for family 200 for single so we factored this in okay um, obviously is whether you are aware of it or not employees can contribute additional amounts to the HSA up to the, the maximum okay uh, we're trying to make come or have a conversation with our our rep on our health care policy. We have not gotten anything back. Right now, we're hoping that we stay under the 10, 12 percent. Okay? Uh, I don't see why we couldn't. And my understanding is the last couple of years, the village has had a very low increase in the monthly premiums. So we're hoping the same thing still happens. So our employees are young. Yes. But I mean, most of our employees are police. Most of our yes. employees are young, and young people don't 
Use insurance a lot, so it keeps the cost down. Yes. Um, and they're also male, so they don't get pregnant very often. And <laughs> most of them. I know we do have female officers on the fourth. You're saying the majority of them. I'm trying to remember everything. It's the things that changed. You know. And it's Stop. is this accurate to say okay. that as of right now, um, we do not have the new... Uh, yeah, I brought that up. Okay. I mentioned that. Um, that didn't change. Oh, wow. We give, uh, we give SHA. No one does that anymore. I'm sorry. Mark, what was that? I'll say we, we, we uh, put money into their SHA. Not a lot of oh, yeah. Our, our deductible is not fun. Well, that has been the case for several years. Yeah. Okay. That's where I bumped it up. So I, I assume they are replaceable. I don't. I haven't worked with any in the past few years. No. Oh, what is ours? Eight thousand dollars deductible like or something? Like Three and six. Six. <laughs> okay. Minimum. It doesn't change. You would just do the like we pay. We, we put it in there and then take it out slowly. If you're on the high deductible, they they kick in somewhere. Okay. Shoot. Yeah, I missed it. It's, ours is still not bad. Um. I shouldn't say that. Anytime, I just, like, Sorry about this. There is something else that needs to be added to this ordinance, and it's more for to avoid confusion down the road. There is another ordinance that uh, talks about the dollar amount that is paid to someone who waives coverage mm -hmm. here. It's a separate ordinance, but the health care ordinance has been amended several times since that ordinance came into existence and to avoid any confusion as to whether that one's still in existence there's a paragraph that needs to be added to this one so that it continues going forward correctly okay okay well i'm just going to bring up on this one and then scroll on does anyone uh, understand have nuanced details enough or has an issue with giving health care to our people that they want to uh, look at this or we're just going to say we're passing insurance for next year. It's, yeah, I don't think we need that. Any, anyone have anything? I mean, I, I think this is a read and go. Yeah, but I'm unless someone has an issue. I don't have any issues. I want to put that on the record. But I'm just curious, can, can we get health insurance through this too or no? We are so not employees. Are we? No. We are agents the of... Require, the requirement for the health care coverage is full-time employees and part-timers working 20 or more hours a week, okay? Um, I don't know how council really fits in there. I'm not sure you're really considered an employee. Not, 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 okay. So. All right, 35, 2022. Okay, this is just getting rid of the old EMH, EMS, excuse me, emergency medical service, not emergency medical hologram. Uh, vehicle and related equipment fund. Uh, this is like going to be a read and go, guys. Unless yeah. anyone has a problem, we don't have EMH anymore. We haven't taken EMS anymore. We haven't pulled it out of the budget. Where's that going, guys? Go for it. Where's the money going? So, yeah, the pay for drug. I think the money's already been drained out of it. We already moved the money, haven't we? Or is we've talked about there? moving so, it five times, and we've never actually done it. Okay, I was going to say, I know we've talked about moving the money out of there. There, and when I say the money on there, it's not a lot, is it? There, it's no. 93700 That's a lot. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, Mark, may I? There's actually four pieces of legislation relating to this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know you showed me that, and then you yes. took away the, the list that had which note. You said, not no, do them in this order. I wrote it down. I said, great, and then you took the paper away. Sorry. So Thank that's why I just went straight through. I kind of did. Um, right, I drew you a map. Okay. <laughs> In, <laughs> that was funny, actually. in closing out the EMS equipment fund, there's $93,600 to be transferred back to the general fund. That occurs with the ordinance Mark had just mentioned, 35 to 2002, or 2022, I'm sorry. There's a second ordinance that comes back into play transferring the same dollars out to the storm sewer improvement fund. That's the intended use for this, okay? There's another ordinance that comes into play with creating two funds. One is the Storm Sewer Improvement Fund, and the other is the Pool Improvement Fund. That's Ordinance 36. Mm -hmm. Yes. And 
In order for me to be able to transfer this money around, there's a supplemental appropriation that solely addresses the transfers. So there's four pieces of legislation that come into play there. And that's 37. Yeah. That is 35, 36, 37, and 34. Resolution 34. Yeah. Yeah. It's closing out the amendments, the legislation that was passed in 2014. Yeah. It's closing out the amendments, the, the, the MS fund, making a pool fund, moving money, and laying into the street fund. And pool yeah. improvement fund. And some pool fund money. Storm sewer improvement fund. Storm sewer. Not street. Storm sewer. Yes. She was over here yelling street. Manage the trick. It falls into the same committee. It's all, okay. it's all coming here. Yeah. Yes. She's like, it's all mine. Okay. Uh, we also have council rules. Does anyone want to change any council rules? Do we not want to be on Thursdays anymore? Because uh, that's part of council rules. We, we could take the Pledge of Allegiance out of the uh, uh, No one wants to take the Pledge of Allegiance out of the agenda. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we can talk about that in next month's work session. Oh. Okay. I'm all, all for that, to be honest. I, I feel like it's um, no, I think, I think by taking a I side, it's you're saying exactly. it's devices and I'm on this side. I think it's but. exactly zero devices because yeah. I've had exactly, I, I haven't stood up for the Pledge of Allegiance this year and I've had only one person. To your face. Uh, well, if I'm not brave enough to say it on my face, and I'll say this on the recorder, if you're not brave enough to say it on my, my face, you obviously don't care about that. That authorization. About that. Really? Yeah. Tell them, yes. tell me. Yes. Yeah. Probably need to be an emergency oh, at the end of three weeks okay. uh, because the appropriations is this year. Put the E next to right, the one we have that is going to need to be guys. an emergency. This is resolution uh, 32. This is contract service of Palooza. These are our big list of contracts because that we're the thinking. Is this year. They're not yeah. listening of adding what's his toes, our great yes. guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Grant McGufferson. And we're going to be putting, is. just so you know, it's going to be the exact same form as last year. The only two that we have adjusted to date, and if you guys can think of any that I'm forgetting to put on there, let me know. Um, but as our zoning officer and contracts and our... Um, Are we really doing business with a company called Zoning Guru? That's his name. Leave him alone. Yes. yes. And then the other one, Ben. We have a copy of the yeah. agenda right now. That's, that's our close enforcement guy, but he's a tenant. Uh, just let Trump. Right. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. He's got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't want to make well, sure. Well, yeah. I it's on there. Okay. Should be on there. I'll make sure. We took it out last year. Oh, well, that's right, because Tony and them wanted it. I mean, mm -hmm. I will put that back. Yeah, yeah. yeah will you write flow line needs to go back on the contracts? Because mm -hmm. they did make me take it out last year. Mm -hmm. They made me take it out last year. Yes. I had flow line and Resource International in there. Resource International was the one that did. Um, though the streets and stuff like that, the street yeah. analysis well, that, and all street things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I have another one. Another one. Flowline and Resource International. RII. One of the ones not here because there's three of them who are not here anymore. Well, uh, yes. <laughs> Flowline to the extent it's under 50. No, like yes. But usually is. Okay. Then I wouldn't have had to come back to them right. for all that. Yes. You were just you were in the middle. Well, yeah, yeah, you're in the middle of the term. Yeah, because yeah, I can just say, I'm getting double off. Can't get to this. Are we bringing up a new thing? Where's my microphone? Are we bringing up a new thing at some point? Are we bringing up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Are we talking about whatever legislation he just read? No. We have one more, and then we're done. Yeah, if you have new business. I have new business. We are not new business. At the new business section of the agenda. Yeah, because I think we're. Okay. We're getting there. All right, so we have last one. Um, 20, resolution 2233. Approving and ratifying the submitted recommendations of the tax instead of review council and declaring an emergency. And hopefully everybody's face looks like yours because I'm going to explain it like that. Um, and it is, by the way, although we plan to do an emergency, it is currently scheduled for all three readings. Correct? Oh, heck no. It is going to be waived. It is going to be all three readings. Uh, no, we are waiving it. I was supposed to do this 60 days ago on the record. I was supposed to do this 60 days ago. I had no idea. Nobody ever told me. Uh, this is all new stuff. So what is um, it? I, I don't know. He can explain all, this. This is a, it's a yes. yes, it's when you have, once you have a TIF in place and are drawing revenue off it, the revised code requires a, a, a meeting uh, or, or a board of the village to Did say, we're okay with the TIF. Continue, carry on, and then you certify those that recommendation yeah. to the state. That's, that's all this is. is. 
So we did no. the meeting. We did all everything that we were supposed to do, but we were supposed to bring it to you guys to certify that you guys are all okay with everything that they. Yeah. So it, and we have the meeting minutes. They have now been. They will be added to the packet for next week. I just have to have you guys approve the legislate. And it's. I'm going to say it my way. It's not the end of the world. She's. They're totally fine. She just reminded us, and we are one of like 25 people that didn't do it. Um, yeah. So no, like no one did it. They reminded us yeah. our meeting. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so at the end of the day, they, they need it. Yeah. Just I need to add some emergency just, language to it. That people met and we want to continue Correct. And yes, and we, we did. And as soon as we just like a, I see that a reason beyond. That, oh, that. Um, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's so what that is. So, so the norm I think about not waving, apparently we're going to pass this at light speed. That is the only thing that I need done and it is just a... Um, yeah. It's not even saying anything other than they met and said it's okay, and we it's almost approving their minutes. Yeah. yeah, and I have those. They will be attached. We actually got them today. Okay. And then 34 2022 was already mentioned, but it's at the end of the thing here because apparently they're out of order. This is those funds that we're moving around with the whole. And that EMS one is money. going to be an emergency as well so because it's a resolution. 35. Um, yeah, and as sorry, long as. It is not listed as an emergency? No, it's not going no. to. We actually wanted to make sure that you guys understood why we were, so we just did this. These will all be adjusted on here. Um, okay. The other one that's going to be an emergency is Ordinance 35-2022, um, rescinding the ordinance because, again, the EMS well, vehicle again, fund. Emergencies doesn't bother us so much as which of these are we waiving readings for? That's the one that I think there are people. Just, 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 okay. just okay. my okay. problem that oh, I can do. Yeah, okay. No. That, just, I don't want to speak for council, but I will because I am. Um, that's the one that people have more problems with is, yeah. hey, why aren't we reading it? No, we started them all in time. I have a follow-up question. Since we've established that all four pieces of those legislation are related, if we passed one as an emergency, do they all carry the, the love? One no. is an appropriation, so, so it's it a Right, that's fair, yeah. And the creation mm -hmm. of the funds... Yeah, that's going to have to be there too. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but yeah, Sorry. I know that there are instances where if they are related, sure. the, the magic yes. carries. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if we can do one, if, right. if it's necessary, and then know that because those are all related. I'll take a look. I know because, I mean, effectively, you're right, the appropriations are. Yeah, the appropriations are immediately. Is, but there's the, I'll know, take a look before it's the how. fund for the money to go into. Sure. So that also needs to be done. I, I, to be honest with you, forgot about the appropriations being in the current year. <laughs> so the transfers have to be in the current year also. Okay. Right. So I was more concerned about making sure I got everything out here for three readings. Yes. Yeah. You so. love that too? And if there's anything else that comes, we, what we did is we kind of went through 2020, 2021, looking to see what we did at the end of last year, just making sure, which is what we typically do. But if we find something else that we have to have, um, employee handbook is going to be coming, but we do not need that for January 1st. That's just an ongoing. We adjust it every so often. Mm -hmm. We will be bringing the employee handbook back to you guys um, for a couple adjustments. We're just, this is enough. Um, so if anybody has any changes to the council, rules of council, get that to us this week um, or over the next three readings, whatever. Um, but the only major thing that will be changed in that is we will be attaching the calendar. So that is going to be the change, and the calendar is done and ready to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, old business. Nothing. New business. What about, what about the trees? What You said that we never made a decision on... On which trees? The street trees. Okay, we're talking street trees. So uh, we are in we are in conversation with the person that's doing them. So, so the trees are so so we have so I pulled out my original map. He here. has a cool map. Yeah, he and Z had um, approved the list and I put it on the map. And so those are all the original species that were all okay. Um, and we just got some trees to so replace the trees that are next to Okay. So we have that. So but the conversation that we had was that we're only replacing them in the villages part and not <laughs> as of right this minute until you guys take that conversation that. further. Because yeah, no, no. so there was just there was so we, yeah we need to determine a policy that uh, as a village we have to uh, come down on a perspective as is that our tree is that their tree in right. our right of way okay. oh, it, it, and. Mm -hmm. 
the well, question. Well, hold on. I'm, yes, I, that, that is a decision that, you yeah. know, we, we can, no matter what your perspective is, we can make that as a policy decision. You, just, you have to change the plan district code specifically because it was put into the, the plan district that every house has to have two street trees yeah. in front of it's required. So we, we enforce that requirement, so we have to check it out if we're we, going to do that. We can also revisit that requirement, because yes. I think yes. one is probably. <laughs> well, well I, and I don't know that all of them have to. Some of them are tiny uh, little. Yeah, I was looking at it. It's, I'm not yeah, so, but that is a policy discussion that I think you know, we can either take up next month, or because we're, we're really like, in the next three weeks, it's too late. I know we're not. Anyways, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah we're so, place in the spring. Yeah. yeah, so so we can have, you know, this body should spin up that conversation early next year for a springtime determination so that we can action it then. How about that? Well, we're we're whole bunch of of water yes. and, and we <laughs> have, and it is largely budgeted in, not yeah, largely, no, but there's 10,000 budgeted in there for. Is, yeah. Okay, so the trees old business, any other old business? The maintenance building, where we are. Well, we, we have to plan for that. I know, where, well, what's the we next have, step? So yeah. <laughs> the next step is we, we, we have to go a couple options, yeah. right? I think you, there's some determination to be made based on your future needs, right? There are all kinds of things at this table. Uh -huh. And I'm going to tell you that long term, Mayor, I don't see eye to eye on this because the numbers haven't been done, right? right? But for the size of your village, okay, you have enough work. You have enough work. It's just a matter of what you make to work with more equipment, whatever you want. You have plenty of work for up to three person rotation, full time maintenance guys. If you want to make it so, there it is there. We would we would have to. Work. Yeah, you guys have face, but I can I can detail everything, and we can go through this in house and present something. That's 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 my observation and argument from Bergen and several ones. Now that said, yes. the discussion long largely here has to be if we're going to put money into a building, right? That building has to be designed for your needs now and 30 to 40, 50 years in the future, right? Sure. You don't want to just get a too small building and you hose yourself and say, oh, I got to spend that kind of dollar. Or you cite it wrong. You stick the smaller building on place and you can't even expand it. So at the very least, sure. if you want to start smaller, you need a certain size building, you need to cite it on a place where you can then expand it at a certain cost later. If everyone decides 20 years down the road, hey, guess what? We need to add 10 years or five years. We actually need more people, more equipment. We need a plow now. The township's gone. Who knows, right? So, I don't know. Could be many things. So, so I don't disagree with that. However, don't we have we have we have limited we have options. 24, yes. 25, 26, what? 29 months to get this done. Well, you yeah, want to get so, it moving. So, this is, so, so here's can, can we just set a um, if administration can can figure out whatever the hell y'all want to figure out and present a plan for maintenance. How, how the village would like to do that, or set up two opposing views, and council can opine yeah. on either on, one. On either one, but if we can again yeah. aim to do that next month or January, so that we can then take that and then spec out a building to meet the needs of that plan. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Maintenance building. What's next? That's it. Okay. New business. New business. Um, I just want to discuss it and kind of lay it to rest. Is there anything that the village can do when it comes to the power outages? That was an email I got from a resident. Um, you mean with AEP? Yeah. Is there anything we can do, like tree, yeah. tree maintenance wise? It seems like we can't really do anything. AEP controls its own maintenance. So, okay. so when, we, when we talk about, we're talking about, let's, there's a couple different types of outages. When we talk about the outage as a whole, you're talking about village wide or sections of the village. When people's trees are, I think this oh, is no, no. people's individual fall. trees falling that because they're not maintaining, I think is, is a large portion of that particular email. So, you know what we could do? Very the We could spin up our own power company. You could. <laughs> and then we would be responsible yeah. for maintaining those lines. Yeah, that would be things to watch Will Checks. <laughs> yeah. his, his head is going to <laughs> go this entirely facetiously because there is no good gosh darn but even then you would have it. but we could yeah, yeah you could you have a constitutional right to do this Jeff has experience and I do know but where they have their own power systems so. However, they don't have a power system. Right, they have right. a distribution they system, distribution. Yeah. and it's, it's only in the right. warehouse district. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, know. I know. Westerville has its own power. Westerville system. has its own distribution system. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's all I. For the whole city. 
Right, yeah, we, we yeah. would, we would, we would take the distribution. Or do they just have distribution? Yeah, so it's very on the record. Yes. Probably distribution. In a realistic, yeah. in a realistic perspective, there is nothing is we can do. It's up to AEP, yeah. and yeah. we can only petition as residents to AEP mm -hmm. right. when we see a tree. When, I, yes. I would say, as highly recommended to the residents who may listen to this in the future, you invest in a couple different backup systems. A lot of people in the village have been adding solar along with full battery backups for their houses, as an example. Some people have generators, natural gas generators. There's multiple options. And in places like this where you have power lines that for regular outages or AEP put you on the list of blackout, I would say start investing into backup systems. So Solar doesn't work when the power's off. It doesn't. It does. It does. Not you and I can talk after. We don't have to spend time for this now. I'll explain it. Which one? Yeah. All right. Um, and then my other new business is the science, and then we kind of talked about that. Yeah. If anybody else has any other suggestions for signs? What I did, when I did the signs, I just kind of drove around, looked at all of the yeah. signs at the same time. Um, we use Paul Peterson, is that right? I guess we use Peterson. We use Patterson, we use Peterson, so yeah, Paul Peterson. Um, is who we typically use and then whether or not Brian can actually do the signs determines if we have they will come in and install them at a different price where he can do it we did like the red striping we've done a couple different things um, so it just depends on what you want <coughs> should just be something like a discussion we can have with uh, the villagers like hey guys like have you noticed that there's a sign or that there's a place that we need a sign for the children playing the playground or like When you do that, everybody wants one in front of their house. So, I mean, honestly. Yeah, it's like you can do that. But yeah, I mean, and, and just being fair, I mean, I would say, you know, again, there's, we know of one that that is typically where a bus stop has been for years. There's tons of kids back there. It's going to remain there for a long time. Um, but there's probably other places, again, over by the basketball court, over by the park. Um, there's probably plenty of places that we could think of. I mean, not to be crazy, but over by the pool, just because you have a lot of kids that are yeah. cutting through no, right that's there. Not crazy at all. No. Exactly. So there's yeah. yeah, there's there's plenty of places that we could easily put one without thinking twice about it. Um, okay. So if you're looking for resident input on land, I would I would recommend a, a meeting either streets or community and advertise it. We're talking about signage in the build in the village. And speak your piece. And, right. That's a good idea. And that's the best in my because otherwise, like I said, you just have people say, "I want one." Putting slow children signs, you know. Everybody, everybody wants one. Everybody's got a slow kid is going to want want a sign. <laughs> Mine's really bad. All those signs cannot come up. And then, and then, just as an FYI, you will have your people tell you no more signs. We are signed out in the village. It's absolutely ridiculous that every ten feet you have a sign of something. And I'm one of those people. I think it's crazy how many signs we have. When you start looking at how to replace some of these signs that are dirty and dingy, you will start seeing how many signs we actually have. And then, and then once you have too many, we need those out. Oh, okay. those signs. Huh? Yeah. Should we have a sign that says we have too many signs? Parking on there. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't done that. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we can do bigger ones. Wait, what? I missed it. And I Jeff, can't, uh, Jeff is, you speak up? I can't hear you. The, I was only throwing out there that the no parking sign in the playground could. And people no. love to park on the that side. Mm -hmm. no. I was seeing if it was new and extra reflective, it might slow that down. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But I don't actually care. Maybe some lights around. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm going to have to add a little bit to general fund because all those signs that you're talking about can't come out of street. There's some restrictions as to what kind of signs can come out of street. Right. So I'm going to put a little bit of general fund for it. Beautiful. Makes sense. Okay. All right. All right. I just know people don't read them. Um, oh. So close. Yes, new business, sir. Uh, just wanted to make sure, you know, when we uh, do create or finally open the new building as it's being constructed, uh -huh. we'll, we'll have a little plaque with, like, the dedication yes. stuff, right? Yes, we will. That is part of the budget. Yeah, we, need we need to make sure that there's money for that sign. It's in the budget. You uh, we'll, we'll, we'll show you what it's going to be. We'll, we'll, we'll prove it. Don't worry. As long as my name is bigger than everybody else's. Yes. Well, I was going to say the same thing. 
I was, I was just thinking about... We're going to get a list of names that are going to go on it and a list of names that go on the not-so-nice people. Yeah. <laughs> we have a couple of those, too. We have the naughty and nice, yeah. Name These it. are the no's. Name it building after those people. <laughs> that was it. I was just being silly because I was thinking about this building. All right, then we're out of here. That was painless. Holy cow. Oh. Yeah.